Melbourne Carlton. How are we feeling? Fine. <laughs> Melbourne. Timer. Dollar sixty-eight favorites. I believe the line still sits at six and a half. Uh, Stats guy has written down the plus seven and a half, and I looked for this before and I couldn't oh, find it. Was it was on our site. It was on our site yesterday, and it's dropped back down to six and a half. So, Ooh, okay. Carlton at two dollars twenty-five at the moment. The over/under has risen slightly. Well, no one can see outside right now, but it is beautiful. It is beautiful. It Melbourne is predicted weather, to be beautiful again yes. tomorrow night. So. so. Going up a point from 155.5, it's now 156.5. Uh, I'll get into this in a second, but still, weather might not matter. I, yeah, I don't think it does. It wasn't that bad on Friday night, and we had, what, like 120 points? Exactly. Yeah. So let's do this when it comes to Melbourne Carlton. I'll talk out this idea about how I feel about Carlton. They've won. I don't care anymore. Exactly. Like, you want a final? Yeah. You want a final? The monkey's off the back. <laughs> First time in 10 years. First time in a decade. Who cares now? We'll just go out, play a bit of free fly footy, <laughs> smash the demons, <laughs> and go into a prelim. Where you get smashed by Brisbane. We're also probably just going to get smashed by Melbourne <laughs> this week. So <laughs> It's going to be worse. Your expectations next week will be wildly high. Like this week, it's like, nah. this is so good. We're here. We can win the flag. Oh, what are you crap. talking about? There I is think no it gets expectation. Worse as it goes along. Because yeah. yeah. you understand that you're playing Brisbane in Brisbane no matter yeah, who. But you Carlton this game. fans have won two in a row and you're going to be that up and about. No, nah, no chance. We're just like, <laughs> I think there's a, a harsh... a bit more level-headed, I think, yeah. than a lot of Carlton You're fans. way too level-headed. Yeah, yeah, there's right. a harsh realist streak, I think, with the yeah. Carlton fans. It's like, I've been hurt before. Oh, the suffering that you guys went through on Friday night was just amazing. <laughs> 30 points up and you're just torturing yourself. Never in doubt. <laughs> Never in doubt. Never in doubt. <laughs> like St Kilda fans were more positive about their team. Imagine that. Right. Anyway, shush. Uh, <laughs> player props. Let's do it. Uh, player props for this one. To go through some of the Melbourne side, Petrarca 25 and a goal. Uh, you cannot get very good value for this anymore. It's ninety is the best one I could find. Really? Mm. Which is Je Brutal, which is French for The Brutal. And <laughs> That's he's amazing. averaging 23.2 a game and has 11 in... 10, I think, 11 goals in 10 against the Blues. So doesn't mind going up against them, but doesn't quite have that absolute just FU sort of level of 25, 26 average. Yep. But had 24 and 2 in round 22, which is just a lot of twos. Uh, <laughs> but he had 32 and 1 back in round 12, that Ooh. horrible Friday <laughs> night game. So Thursday night, Friday night. It was one of those. It was a night game yep. in round 12. Uh, he also had 24 and 1 last year. So I think what that says to me is he's kicked four goals in the last three. I think he's going to hit the scoreboard. So your anytime goal part of that should be fine. Yep. Uh, the 25 disposals, look, he looked good last week as well. What did he have? He had 29, I think, against the Pies. Yep. So I think Truck's in pretty good form. They obviously lose Angus Brayshaw. Uh, and to actually, to be honest, we should have probably hit on that at the very start. Both teams in this game have got weirdly uh, synchronistic outs. Jack Martin suspended, and you have Van Ruin suspended. A few forwards, One yeah. seven foot tall. and <laughs> Harry Mackay out with concussion. Yeah, okay, that's oh, Van yeah. Ruin and Mackay. Yeah, yeah. Angus Brayshaw with concussion. So you've got sort of these mid – Jack Martin's not obviously a mid, but you have, important, guys, you yeah. have important like cogs of their team. Yeah. I would argue that out Jacob Van Ruin things. and Mackay are just like, oh, well, that's fine. But watch. whereas Brayshaw and Martin for both teams like, ah. Oh, God. Actual key pillars yeah. of both yeah, teams. Especially so. The Martin reason why Carlton week. started winning was literally Jack Martin coming into he the team great, in yeah. like round came, 12. Came into the team Think for I, the Essendon game. Did they I? They lose that. He looked awesome though, and then they barely lost a game. So. Yeah. Hold on. I write about this. I've got the stat. Keep going. So it's a very, very strange one, but we've got the sort of uh, the setup where I don't think Silvani comes in for. No, nah, they've come out this morning. They've already he's said not. that he's not past his physical. So uh, Matt yes, Kennedy right. and. So Kennedy's good to go. Motlop. Kennedy and Motlop likely won. I really like Motlop. Yeah. And uh, I'll get to one of my favorite player props with a uh, tool. But anyway, so Petrarca with the 25 and any time. I feel like without Brayshaw there, uh, he does even more heavy lifting. Yep. And I think he gets that pretty easily. Same with Clary Oliver. Clayton Oliver, 30-plus disposals, $1.90. That's actually not as bad value as I expected. It's, he it's because he hasn't he's, got none of the footy in the last few weeks. It's because he's coming back from uh, injury. I don't know. Injury. Tag. Other rumours. Just yeah. playing, playing pokies too much. Who knows? <laughs> he had 31 
touches, 11 clearances and 10 tackles last week. You could have told me he got cool. 20 and I would have believed you. But that was it, right? He barely impacted. Gets a lot of handballs. Counting, yeah. counting stats, you love to see it. He also averages 28 against the uh, Blues in his career, so there's plenty <laughs> there. And we're not betting on uh, impact, we're just betting on Just touches. betting on Good numbers. Yeah. Uh, he's also gone for 31 plus in four of his last five night games of the G, which is always a good Ooh. one for Clary, so it doesn't mind none of the lights there. Jack yeah. Viney, he had a run of 25 plus for 11 straight games. And then Clayton Oliver came back. Came to an end last yeah, week. No good. Uh, son of Todd, <laughs> yeah, was 31 son last of Todd. time they played. Do you, tell you what, though, he would have kicked Brad Maynard's ass in that fight if they actually threw down. Oh, 100%. Yeah, I, yeah. So I would not mess with uh, yeah. son of Todd. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but that was like... That's the important fact. <laughs> I'm trying to look at this one. So in the multi, I've actually landed on Lockie Hunter for 20 plus, right? Yeah. And Viney. Viney has ripped off to 25s. I think Hunter's the sort of dude who will... Hide out on the wing away Very from the contested footy. You get a lot of touches out there. Very of the much hurt this Carlton <laughs> Anyway, to fly through the rest of it, Bailey Fritch was uh, more like Bailey on the Fritz. Uh, <laughs> last week, three plus goals though against the Blues, $2.70. I don't mind this. He's got two plus in six straight of the G now and eight in yeah. his last four against the Blues. Yep. Uh, without Van Royen out there, I think Fritch will just have to go back and kick three at least well, has to. for them to have a chance. And A and B. Oh. I love A and B. Alex Neil Bullen. Stats guy actually hit on this in his uh, teaser article. I've, yeah, I was like, I've, I wrote this. <laughs> five best early bets. I pilfered a bit of it. Uh, 71% of his games is booted a goal. But my av- my favorite part is he's averaged 17 disposals over the yeah. last six weeks. This is one of so my favorite 15 bets. 15 plus yeah. disposals, anytime goal. I absolutely adore this one. $2.40. Yeah, he, he pushes up a bit like Thanks, as, a, as an extra mid from the half forward, which is exactly what you want. From and the without half Van Royen, again, I feel like they'll need way more from him. Yep. Let's, this is a team that kicked eight goals last week. We've got to remember that. So they're not all of a sudden going to go, oh, we're going to kick 15. Like yeah, They nah, nah. can't score but at the these, moment. But these are the ones around the margins where they yeah. need to hit this end. And A and B is like the perfect margin goal yeah. scorer for them and should do it, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, Carlton side, you've got Walsh. Look, hasn't looked that great since coming back, but... I think we hold him to so high of a standard that when he has 30 touches in a final... Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, you're not oh, that good. Sam Walsh is good. <laughs> yeah, he 20, had 30 touches! Yeah, 28 <laughs> and 29 the last two weeks. He's gone for 25 plus and 21 of his 22 games at the G. It's pretty good. So... He's the, just never going to win a Brownlow because he just... He's, he, he just doesn't stand out. His 30 plus... Oh, he sometimes does, but yeah, his 30 not plus as much is obviously very game. low for this yeah. game. What I would actually suggest, I think Bet365 do the... Over under. The over under of like a specific oh, mark. If that lands at than 29, plus. if that lands at 28 and a half or 29 and a half, you'd probably get better value for that. So yeah, yeah. I'd wait on That's that really one. That's really good. Cripps, 29 and a goal against the D's in round 22. That was one of those moments where, oh, that's right, he kicks goals again. And he had a <laughs> massive goal against the Swans last week. That was definitely still a free. It was absolutely um, naughty handball. <laughs> yeah, yeah, in wasn't. his first ever <laughs> final, yeah, 21 and a goal. Felt like the Swans paid a lot of attention to trying to keep him out of the game. And they did. And they did. Yeah. And Akers stepped up. Chera stepped up. I'm going to lean on a bit of Chera, I think, for this one too. 25. I think Akers will be carrying a bit of a shoulder injury. I don't think you'll see him get too much of the ball. Yeah, I think he was, looked really tired he looked, by the end of that game. He threw out cooked. his collarbone stopping, stopping that ball going over the line. <laughs> yeah, getting yeah. a touch. <laughs> don't so need I think, that. Yeah. I think, though, what that means is Cripps can actually have a bit of a crack here. He averages 26 over the last four against the Ds. The Ds don't Ds. tag either. And the Ds, look, he's had 29, 23, 26, and 20 to seven Ooh. disposal against them in the last four. So yeah. doesn't mind it. Give me 25 plus and a goal for Cripper. Uh, I think that gets to three dollars ten, which is actually really That's good. Pretty good. Uh, I have written down George Hewitt, but if Matt Kennedy comes back in, I'm going to steer clear of Hewitt. Uh, very similar sort of player-y kind of dudes, just on the outside of the pack. Yep. Uh, Kennedy sometimes gets a bit more in and under. Hewitt's that sort of big body, but basically it's, it's a very similar role. So I'm going to steer clear of Hewitt. Both were. big blockheaded dudes as <laughs> they well. They are, yeah. <laughs> Same as always. They got a lot of blockheads. But give me uh, Nick Newman. God. Hello, Hello, Newman. Newman. <laughs> uh, he's averaged 29 over his last six. That's a lot. He's been awesome. 25 yeah. plus is dollar eighty six at the moment. I think we're better. So with Newman, this is exactly what you expect. Like Doc and Newman off the halfback flank, just racking up plenty of touches as hopefully the Demons go with their... Uh, bombing in long and hope for the best approach from last week. Oh, That'd God, be great. That, that, that was too. pretty bad. Yeah. They had 69 <laughs> inside 50. Nice. nice. Uh, <laughs> inside 50s last week, yeah. which is just chaos. Their inside 50 disposal efficiency was 30 30 something. Yeah, that's ridiculous. That's absolutely A lot of out in the fools. Yeah. Uh, goal kickers really quickly. Charlie Kerno stinks against Melbourne. Yeah. I don't that trust guy? Him. What was it? Six, six, in, five six in five games. games I don't so. trust him. Yeah. Stephen May is also a gun. So Go contrary play. Ten, he goes big. Team up Carlton win with Charlie four plus. That actually gets you to three seventy five. 
Because mm. you figure if he kicks four goals, Carlton. Will yeah, that. that's true. That's true. And you're not going to get actual that much value with the f- just f- even four he goals got for Charlie. He held last week, Charlie, didn't he? He didn't have a great time, but this is without the Harry. The forward there. entries were horrible yeah. as well. Yeah, without Harry, no, he didn't help. Tom Clog- McCartan just monstered him. Clogging there. stuff up. I think you might see Charlie on the lead a couple of times. That's the thing. Schnag He's played better without he, Harry he, as well. I can't, except there was a couple of marks on like 80 out. He took a couple of lead up marks there, but there was nothing hitting him up coming from nah. the goal square 30. You're like, oh God, Harry, he's going to get none this. none of that. Absolutely none of it. It was all sort of just boot into the pack. <laughs> we'll see and hopefully he can create some magic. Yeah. Hopefully it's, it's different this week. Side note, Jack Martin, Carlton team this year, nine, one and two, win, yep. draw, loss. Without him, five and seven. Yep. Yeah, five and seven. seven. Yeah. Oh. Not uh, good. Matt Owies is the other one. If Without Martin, they're going to need Owies and Motlop to step up. Motlop is always a handy sort of two plus. That's me. Owies, I've got that written down. Owies two plus like is 245. Plus, yeah. He kicked two the last time they played. My thing though with Mackay out, old Harry McFive, look for Deconing. He's got a goal in three of his last five. Oh. Took a bunch of grabs on Friday night. Yeah, pretty good. He'll have to Was play a little bit more forward, yeah. And if they play Pitnet up against Gorn, maybe you swing to Coning forward to, you know, in between sort of throwing him up there. Just he gets out of Charlie's road a little bit more. He plays a little bit further up than Mackay does sometimes. Yep. So give me some to Coning anytime. Goal at a dollar ninety. So Motlop's kicked goals in eleven in eleven of his nineteen games this year. In nine of those he's kicked two or more. Two. Okay, it. so if you go yeah, he kicks if one, he, he yeah. usually goes two. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going him two plus at two eighty five. I nice. like it. All right. First goal kicker, I believe we had a Stutz guy. Yeah, I just wrote a few of my favorite ones. A bit of value for the uh, Carlton. I'm gonna stay away from Big Charlie. I know he's uh, kicked eight in the last few years, first goals, which is a lot, but he's only kicked six goals in five games against the D's, as we just mentioned before. How have look. you not written Sam Doherty here like last week? Sam, yeah, I don't know. You can't even bet on Sam Doherty. The I don't worst think. Well, first goal can, kicker uh, pick. Yeah, like, I know, right? There was no who chance would have had anyone him had that. coming no. off a contest 40 hours. Oh, I know. Chaos. That was absolute chaos, wasn't it? Uh, Gross. I'm going to go Matty Cottrell. I think he's the barometer for this Carlton side. He's getting, when he kicks a goal, he gets absolutely up and about. Everyone gets around I don't him. trust that guy. I was going to say, <laughs> you say that, and he goes completely MIA yeah. this week. No, no, like, no. Is he out there? Yeah, uh, he's lost he the game, dead set so. did it against the Swans, and then I don't think he kicked a goal since that game against the Swans in May yep. till last week. No, 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 he had uh, one the week before. Oh, sorry, and one, a, and then a couple like two. He's been pretty consistent. He's, been he's, right, he's yeah. been, I, I, I like him. Man. I used to not like him, but he's been awesome this year. So that's because he, he just kill you. Like, yeah. yeah, he's pretty scary. Uh, he's really quick and really good at the crumbs, but he can also take a big mark. So $21, I don't mind. I reckon he'll be starting down there. Uh, and then no, a bit more obvious one, Cozzy Pickett, not as much value, $11, still pretty pretty solid uh, compared to Charlie's $6. Uh, he's kicked the first goal eight times in the last three years, which is the most of any demon. Got 13 goals in his last eight games. Pretty consistent, so. Could have had five last week. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cozzy missing he, a few in front of the sticks was he, pretty that He is prone rough. to that. Every few games he'll kick a few points, but then he, bounces, he usually bounces back, so I'm hopefully... Cozzy and yeah, the man cool. with the immaculate hair just absolutely butchered it last week. Yes. So Wasn't I great. actually I didn't write too much about Cozzy just because I think the mercurial nature of his kicking mm. he He's could have he could like have that, three yeah. in this game he could also go zero for three and mm. I'm. I just it's hard. He kicked thirty five twenty seven this year, which is yeah, it's a lot of points. it's a lot of points. Great. Yeah, yeah. Uh, right, the game picks, however, the under is my play here, even though it looks like it should be fantastic weather. It was fantastic weather last week in Carlton, Sydney. Was. I mean, it did rain. It, it's nah, it was pretty for wet. The third quarter, it, second, third, it, last it was week cold, was, but it wasn't like you know, shouldn't affect the game. It too shouldn't much. have affected yeah, it too true, much. True. It was a massive breeze. Though. And then Melbourne Collingwood was very sort of similar on the Thursday night. I feel like we're still going to go the unders, but just crucially, this is Carlton Melbourne. There's going to be a hundred thousand people going bonkers. It's going <laughs> to be yeah, high gonna be pressure nuts. intense. Yeah. Well, it's more that Carlton Melbourne play just brutally ugly games against each other. True. Each time they're they're going hammer and tongs because in the last five, I think uh, we've seen a 60-56 in round twenty two. We saw sixty one forty four, saw seventy nine seventy four. We've had a fifty three fifty four in the last five games. Mm. That is absolutely brutal territory. So even the seventy nine seventy four game still hits this under right. If my mass is correct, yes, just yeah, yeah. one fifty five and a half. There you go. Mm. So. I'm going the under. I think it's just a tough slog. You got two top four defenses. I think what Melbourne ended up second, Carlton ended up fourth. Uh, but the actual game pick, I'm going to go Carlton at the line plus six and a half. Why is that? You might ask, Jim. Yeah. And I'd say, well, I don't feel wildly <laughs> confident about this game, but I also don't really care at this point because we won a final. <laughs> hey. And if we go out and smoke Melbourne, that'd be great. But I think we just grind out another win. The plus six and a half, though, for Carlton is a 
is the key number. Because three of the last five between these two teams has been decided by five points or less. Ooh. So if I'm getting six and a half for a team that I can believe that I believe can win, I'm taking that six and a half points. And uh, I think you've also seen when it comes to the unders, Melbourne talk about forward lines, kicked eight goals last week. At the G over their last five, I think they're averaging 75 points. Which the is, Blues yeah, great. over the same period, 74 points. So it is my game. brutal. <laughs> so I think we'll see a tight one. I think Carlton just maybe squeak out a win. And if they don't, me sitting there in the stands going, why do we lose by four? But at least my bet covered. <laughs> <laughs> True. Yeah. So I'm going to go Carlton. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with D's. I'm gonna go against you here. You're I, fired. You're fired. That's <laughs> yeah. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know. Take, I just, a, take a long walk. I, I like their go. midfield depth. The D's. I think yeah, they're a bit more finals experience, things like that. And I reckon. didn't buy that new phone. I think it was Melbourne uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, playing last week against uh, the Blues. I reckon they could have ran over him towards the end of that game. So I'm just gonna go the D's. I really like the D's in the under as well. I think it's just under three dollar odds, Good just because that under. I think I wrote down the totals last time of the last two times they've played were 117, 105. So you know, I don't think they're gonna get anywhere. That, that was also points. raining sideways. One that of them night was, the yeah, yeah. And then you got no uh, Van Rooyen and Mackay. I think they're both big outs. I know Mackay obviously hasn't I don't had think that Mackay's good. a big out but at all. I just think it's another great. big big marker down so, there. Yeah, that they that they're losing. Yeah. What are you going to pick, Alex? Flaggers. Right. Oh, I think <laughs> stop saying flaggers. <laughs> there's a weird one. So I've just talked up this unders vibe. Like if one team smashes the other, it's Melbourne beating the absolute yeah. That's why I'm Carlton, right? Not because say the one to like what they. They absolutely smoked Richmond at the G, like 130 to like 80 something. Mm. Like if this gets squirrely, that's where it ends up as well. Yeah. And like you're just sitting there going, what happened? But very, very clearly these two teams, the defenses should just keep it tight enough. The quality of forward is just so sporadic I think the Carlton defense beats the Melbourne forward line more than the Melbourne defense beats the Carlton forward line because you literally have the best full forward in the competition. That's true, yeah. Against yeah. a forward line. That has Bailey Fritch as your lead up yeah. target I against Tom Charlotte, McDonald, yeah. who's as quick as me. Kerno, like a lot of games this year, will yeah, decide how this game goes. He ki- if he kicks three, Carlton will win. Yeah. That's why I love that four and then Carlton yeah. Win. Yeah. That's probably what's going to be you're gonna uh, win. Yeah. my best bet. Just hashtag spoiler alert. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> what's gambling really costing you? For free and confidential support, call the number on the screen or visit the website.